Oh, it's me, Joy. Just want to come on real quick and encourage you today. Um, two scriptures that I want to give you. One scripture is Proverbs 25, verse 28. And it says, whoever has no rule over his own spirit is like a city broken down without walls. I remember when God first gave me that and I was in the process, you know, of my doing my fastings, you know, like one day, one fast, it'll be good. Next fast, it'll be so hard. So please don't think these fasts are easy. I don't care how long you've been doing them. It's not easy. Because you are taking control of your spirit, your flesh, your life. The enemy don't like that. The flesh don't like that. So here we go. Whoever has no rule over his own spirit is like a city broken down without walls. When I read that, I said, oh my God. If you don't have rule over your own spirit, that means you are allowing your, your, your flesh to to control you. To tell you you are not going to obey God. So when God gave me that. that just It just gripped me. It gripped me. It grabbed my heart. Because I knew it was true. Of course God's word is true. Um, and then we got Proverbs 26 verse 11. As a dog returns to his own vomit. So, is, so a fool repeats his folly. Now here's the thing. I'm going to um, I'm going to use that scripture pertaining to, to fasting right now. Because when you start fasting, stop, start, stop. What happens? When you stop in the middle of your fast, you go back to doing the same thing you were doing before you started fasting. You're returning back to your folly. You're repeating the same cycle over and over again. You're repeating a cycle that makes you sick. It disgusts you. It makes you sick mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. You find yourself stuck in the same rut. You got to complete this fast. I'm not telling you what I think. I'm telling you what I know. And like I said, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy. Some fasts you're going to be so motivated you're going to get right on that fast and you're going to obey God. Some of those fasts you're, you're going to have to get somebody to pray with you to even start it. We don't even talk about finishing it. And so um, in contrast with that you know it's a shame if you can't rule over your own spirit. You can't rule over your own tongue. You can't control what you do. Something is wrong when you can't do that. That means you have opened up the door somewhere for the enemy. And he's controlling you. You are, you are allowing him to control you. The only way you're going to get rid of him is by obeying God and finishing what he told you to start. It's critical. It's called obedience. And the, the name of the disobedience is called rebellion. So I know how it feels. When I tell you I know how it feels. See, my problem is I hate to hurt God. See, I don't want to hurt him. That's my thing. And, I, you know, sometimes you just find yourself always doing it. I don't want to hurt him. So and I want to please him. And then I want to be obedient to him. Then I want to do what he called me to do. And I know all of that just equals to obedience. So I'm just telling you, because of the experiences that I've had, getting stuck. I know you're tired of getting stuck. So you meditate on Proverbs 25, verse 28, where it says, whoever has no rule over his own spirit. No, you're not going to control me. See, we got, we got a time to be here. And we got a, an assignment here. And if we're going to obey God, and complete the assignment that he gave us. Then we got to fast and pray. 
in order to accomplish what he sent us here on this earth to do. Instead of being, you know, missing out on your blessing, missing out on your name being great amongst God's people. Remember in Hebrew, the Bible said that the saints, they are in the, they're like in the, um, they're cheering you on. Like in a stadium, they cheering you on. See, they have, they ran, they race already. They already with the Lord. They ran their race. The Bible says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. It's our turn. I don't want to let God down. I think about Samson. How he, he allowed Delilah to woo him to sleep. And, and, and I want you all to pray for me because I got my new project coming out called Kiss of Deception. I already recorded the song Saturday. It was, oh my God, I love it. It was just, it's just God. It's just God. And it's just to wake the spirit of God's people up. You know, it's, it's really to be delivered from narcissists. You know, if you're in a narcissistic relationship, you're in a bad relationship, you know God didn't bring you all th together. It's to set the captives free. Everything I do is to set the captives free for my Jesus. Not for me, for him. So I just want you all to know that you are not a dog. And you are not made in the image of a dog. So just because that dog returned to his own vomit don't mean you got to repeat your folly. What it means is you got to take a stand for what you know God is telling you to do. Not just you, me too. We got to get up and we got to do what God called us to do. You know? Uh, and just even with me, not trying to worry about being all superficial, wearing all this makeup and doing all this stuff. I just want to be, I want to focus on getting my relationship right with Jesus. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with the makeup because I know I got to get, get <laughs> you know. Of course, when you go somewhere to go, when I go minister at the church or something, I try to look all pretty because, of course, I want to look pretty. But I didn't got so comfortable with y'all, I don't even care. But I mean, you know, taking care of yourself, getting, you know, doing the things you know you need to do. When God is upgrading us, we got to upgrade too. But we got to say no to re repeating the same cycle and doing what we need to do. I wasn't planning on doing this video, I wasn't going to do anything you know, period for a minute, maybe until tomorrow, but I just want to encourage you all, take control of your spirit. It feels so good when we fast and doing what God tells us to do. The minute you break that, that enemy standing at the door waiting. Matter of fact, he the one tempting you to eat. And then guess what? It's so hard to get back up and get on, get on cycle when you break it. So just finish it. And let me say this real quick. I remember when I used to first start fasting, when I first obeyed God and continuously fast, fast, fast. The minute I make up my mind to fast, ooh, I say, okay, God, as soon as I finish this 40-day fast, this is what I'm going to eat. So I, I say, I'm going to eat me some chicken wings, a whole order of vegetable fried rice. Or I'm gonna, I start saying all that stuff. And you better believe, 40 days later, we in that Chinese restaurant, <laughs> me and my family. Because I loved food. When God started breaking that off of me, I, I stopped saying what I'm going to eat. And I started crying out to God saying, God, what do you want me to eat? That's when you know you're changing. When you start saying, God, what do you want? Not what do I want. What do you want, Jesus? That's when you know you're changing. And that's what God is looking for. And you know what? We are created in his image, and guess who created us in his image? He did. So if he created us in his image, he's no, he knows what we're capable of. He wouldn't tell us to do it if we couldn't. So I love you all. Um, I love you all. I miss you all, too. I did get back on Facebook for a minute, but I got off because Facebook is a distraction. Mm -mm. They say, I, I said I was going to shut it down. Now, Joy, they tell me you got... You got all them friends, you know, about 5,000 friends and all that. Please. No, I mean, some people love me, but they, they, they... No. I'm not worried about all of that stuff. I just want to please God. And, I, and sometimes I have a hard time trying to. That's why I'm focusing on getting me together. So that I can be pleasing in His eyes. I love y'all. find myself babbling. But, and this might not even be spiritual. I don't feel spiritual right now. But I might do another video. Okay? I love you all. God bless.